In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full beginner's guide to the Hulk Form Builder Shopify app. I'm going to try and teach you everything you need to know in as little time as possible. So let's get right into it. The first thing you need to go ahead and do is install the app. And I've left a link down below in the description. If you click that, it will take you to this page here. And you can go ahead and just press install here. So once we've done that, it should go ahead and it should open up onto your Shopify store. And from here, you can go ahead and press install. And it should install onto a Shopify store and be ready to go. So you just need to click here, say that you agree with their policies, press get started, and it should install onto a store like this. And it's gonna ask you what plan you want to pick. So you can go ahead and pick the free plan to start, or you can pick one of these advanced plans. Now you won't get as much features if you pick one of the free plans. If you pick like this plan here, for example, you're going to go ahead and get a lot more features. Now they do give you a three day free trial. So I'm just gonna go for that and approve that. You may as well do it and see if you like it um, and you can just cancel if you don't like it. So I've just approved this here and I'm going to show you how it all works now. Okay, so it's super simple to actually go ahead and use. Here we are inside of the sort of dashboard area. We've got three main things here. We've got create a form, forms and knowledge brace. So I'm gonna start off with creating a form. So I'm going to press new form here. And first of all, it's gonna ask us for the template. So they recommend using one of these templates to start with, and it really depends on what your needs are. They've got a blank form, which is um, gonna have nothing on it. Or they've got these ones here, which have some stuff already made on them. I'd recommend going for one of these. And if you click here, they have uh, the all available templates button. And uh, you can see all of the templates available. So for me, I'm just going to try and build a um, lead form. So I'm going to pick something like this one here. It looks pretty good to me. A Black Friday, so Monday, contact us form. So now it's going to ask us for the setup. So the form name, we can just call this anything. I'll just say BFCM um, form. Uh, notification email addresses so if you um, get a form it's going to notify someone you can also block certain um, domains so for example if you want only business emails you can delete um, gmail ones so for example with this we could enter gmail.com into here and basically that is going to block anyone from uh, filling this form in if they have got a Gmail email account. And that basically means you're going to get business emails only. You can select one form per email, um, only one submission per phone number, record a URL of the page where your form is placed, and capture form submission counts. So you can go ahead and do that if you want to. Now they've got other features here like a ticket system. Again, this is going to be on the, the, the big plan, the Pro Plus plan. And you've got the allow form access here as well, which is on the same thing. So next up, we have the form schedule. So it's going to have the start date, the end date, the start time, end time, um, the before start date message. So if you could put something like this is coming soon. Afterwards, you could be like submissions have ended, um, the maximum amount of submissions and the closed message. So you can just put all these in um, depending on your needs. Now we have the Shopify integration here. We can go ahead and create a customer for each submission if we want to. And we can send them an email activation so they can activate an account with us. We've got mail integration. Um, we can go ahead and connect MailChimp and Klaviyo and I'll show you that in a second. We've also got payment integration with Stripe. I'll show you that in a second. And if you pay for the other plans, you've got uh, Slack, Google Sheets and Zapier. So these are all very useful. So now that we've done the setup, we want to go over to the content and the content is going to be this stuff inside the form itself. So we have, first of all, the form settings. So form settings is stuff like the banner. So you can add an image for the banner, um, the image height, the image width, the alignment. We have the form title here. And in this case, they have got an image as the form title. We could just type something in here. Um, hello, everyone. And we can just use the builder here to build it out so we can um, select a font here um, or the style. We can select a font here. We can select the size. We can select um, a different font. We can select the color very easily. So let's say white. Um, welcome to our site. Uh, we can add quotations. There's, there's tons of different things we can basically do here with this builder. Um, it's very simple to use. 
uh, super self-explanatory really. We can do this with the descript description as well, so we can add a description um, down here. And then we can change the submit button, so we could say um, apply or you know whatever you want to put there, and it's going to change that button there. Now next up we have the form element, so this is the different elements here. So we have the first or the single line text, so that's first name. Um, you can put the title of it, so we could say something like um, country, for example, we'll put that there. The placeholder text is going to be the text that's in there before they type into it, so say um, e.g. your country, and that's going to be in there um, when they type on it. You can do half width, you can do required, you can do field and center, it's really up to you. And you can do some additional text afterwards if they need help, so type your country here. That's a little bit of a description. You've also got some custom classes, custom ID and Shopify fields as well. So with this you can use dynamic um, dynamic things here, so uh, these will be dynamic tags basically. Basically you can go ahead and all of these different things you can change them or you can add an element here and there's tons that you can add from so you can add headings, paragraphs, single lines, drop downs, multiple choice, date, time, image upload, labels, line break, there's so many different things here that you can basically add into this to customize your form as much as you want essentially. Next up we have the capture so you can add a capture if you'd like to if you don't want people to spam it and you can also add spam prevention as well. Um, so yeah. And we've also got some basically customized messages, so if something goes wrong they can put a message there, all that kind of stuff. Next up we can go to the design, so this is things like colors, um, submit and bu submission button colors, advance, all that kind of stuff. But once we're ready we can go ahead and press save, and we can go back to the existing form section over here. And it'll show us all of our existing forms, we can go ahead and edit them, um, and that kind of thing. Now if we go over to settings here, then we can actually go to integrations as I said earlier and we can generate an API token if we want to uh, for whatever reason but then we've also got stuff like Stripe payments we can add our uh, API keys in here and we've got our email service providers as well so MailChimp and Klaviyo in case we want to add those in um, it's pretty simple to do uh, that's basically how you use the app you can go ahead and just copy this here and that is going to be the code that you want to embed you embed that onto your store somewhere and that's how the where the form will show up but that's basically how you use the hulk form builder shopify app if you enjoyed the video and found it useful be sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below that it did help you out so other people can watch the video and get the same advice as you so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one